Stefan Lassard, the Dave Matthews Band. And um, I got started in music when I was six years old. Uh, I had uh, my my parents were friends with this uh, music teacher. She lived out in the woods in Virginia on this old uh, Civil War like plantation kind of place. It was awesome. And she had like pianos. And it was very like bluegrass oriented style music that she played. She had a lot of friends that come over in the afternoons, all bluegrass players sit around on the back porch and, and play bluegrass songs. So at first that was, that was kind of like my first real introduction with uh, group ensembles as far as musicians and getting together and just playing music for the fun and love of it. Um, and she taught me some piano and I, I learned some violin with her and some uh, guitar. And I, I studied with her for like maybe four years when I was young. And then I, then I sort of dabbled in and out of piano pretty much till I was about 14 and then finally picked up the bass guitar. Um, my dad uh, worked for uh, a bunch of different music instrument um, companies, uh, Command being one, C. Bruno and Sons for a while, um, Ovation Guitars. So, you know, he was always bringing home the new products, and so I was always getting a chance to try out uh, different instruments. And um, so I, for a while, I was really into guitar. Like, from, like, 12 years old, I was kind of playing guitar a lot, and guitar and piano. And, um, and I was getting angry because I couldn't find a piano teacher that would teach me any Bob Marley songs. They all wanted to play, like, you know, the standard, like, uh, sheet music type stuff, and I was just wanting to play more radio hits and Bob Marley. And, um, so then, uh, and then I switched over to bass when I was like right at the edge of 14, 15 years old. And right from the start, I went with a bass player who started teaching me uh, Stir Me Up by uh, Bob Marley. So I was like, okay, this is kind of my instrument. And uh, my dad taught me some scales because he was a player too. He played guitar and played flute. My mom was a singer. So there's always music around, but I really didn't hone in on the bass guitar until I was about 15 years old. Yeah, well, what, how it happened is the, um, the, my, my music teacher, so I took this bass guitar into, I was in a world music class, and we just, we played music, but we listened to a lot of music, and it was all educational, and I was in uh, ninth grade, I think, and so, no, I was 10th grade. And uh, my dad brought home a Hamer bass. It's awesome, like red, cool looking Hamer bass. So I brought it to school to show all, the, all my classmates and my teacher. And we plugged it in and we played, and then I played a scale that my dad uh, showed me. Well, m uh, my music teacher put on, I want to say it was Autumn Leaves um, to show the kids a like, swing and, and that sort of style of music. And I still had my bass kind of connected. And I just kind of found where the scale was, and I just played a major scale in time with it. And my music teacher kind of just was like, whoa, like you kind of just played like a bass part. And so I was like, yeah, that's cool. And so we sort of started talking, and I started playing it in the class more often. And, and then I slowly started to switch over, and I started to get serious with it. And I, I actually switched to upright bass because I decided I wanted to play jazz. And I was like, going to play jazz. And, so I started studying uh, upright, started studying classical upright and regular upright when I was like 15 and a half. Um, and, you know, I joined this band when I was 16 and a half. So I still had about a year of playing upright bass before um, my music teacher then suggested me to the other guys in the band. They had played one, uh, one rehearsal um, with just Leroy, uh, Carter, and Dave. The three of them got together. Uh, Dave had a friend who was sort of helping him put together an ensemble. And so the missing piece was the bass player. And so uh, after the first rehearsal, uh, my music teacher told uh, Leroy that he thought it would be a good idea if, if they uh, gave me a, a try. And see, because I was a solid player that didn't play too flashy and I was a student, so I was open to, like I was a sponge, I'd learn anything. And, uh, and that's what happened. And I went to the first rehearsal with my upright bass and it was, it was hard. It wasn't. It just. It didn't feel right. It wasn't clicking with the music they're playing. Upright bass didn't seem right. So um, the next week or the next time rehearsal, a third rehearsal, I brought over a friend of mine's uh, bass guitar from school. She let me borrow it, and I ended up playing that bass for like a year with the band. And it was a Steinberger. It had the no heads, you know, and um, and then I gave it back and I bought a, an old K, a K bass for like 200 bucks and. That was my bass till I got my Ibanez, and then I played my Ibanez for a while. So, so yeah, that's sort of how I got involved with the band. 